What's up, everybody? Go Burn showing off the Be My Valentine update. They came with Grand Theft Auto Online on current gen, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. We got the old Roosevelt, and we got the new Roosevelt, the Valor. We're going to show off the Valor, all the customization options. But first, let's go over the price tags for both vehicles. Currently available as part of Be My Valentine. You got the original Roosevelt for $750,000. It's the cheaper of the two. And the more expensive one, the new one, the Roosevelt Valor, $982,000. This is the one you can customize. So if you want a Roosevelt that you can customize, this is the one to purchase. If you just like to look as is, I would recommend you go with the regular Roosevelt. It's cheaper. And check this out. Oh, I love this horn. That old school horn is awesome and here's the interior by the way the interiors of both roosevelt's are identical no difference there and no you can't take it to benny's to customize so off to los santos customs we go and of course it's raining in los santos what else is new <laughs> all right so we made it to los santos customs we're going to show you all the mods all the customization features that come with the valor then later on we're going to check out everything else the clothing the masks the Gusenberg, oh yeah. Front bumpers for the Valor. You got three options here. You got, let's see, Classic, and you got Elegance, and you got uh, the stock one. I kind of like the stock, so I'm probably going to keep the stock for now, save some money because I only have $12 million. My heist money is precious to me, okay? And here's the rear bumpers. Once again, stock, Classic, and Elegance. And it's nice to have different options and choices for your Roosevelt Valor, and I may go back and change it eventually. So here are the three grill options, vertical, and I'm, I think I'm going to keep the stock one as well. And this is one thing I don't really care for on here. Teach their own right, but I am not going to add a supercharger to my Roosevelt. No, but I probably will add the chrome step plate because, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. So we'll do that. We'll drop some money for the chrome step plate. And uh, now we're going to go over the uh, different things in the chassis section, and there's a lot in chassis. So you got chassis, then you have all these subsections. First, the arch cover. And the arch cover looks really cool. And since I'm going to keep my old school Roosevelt that I bought two years ago, I'm going to make this one look a little bit different than the uh, regular Roosevelt. So we got the uh, side hood grills. And I think we're going to have to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, see the side grills? I love those rivets. Those are awesome looking. I'm definitely adding that to the Valor. Next is the front details. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. So we got different horn options. We got different light options. And let's see, which one do I like? I kind of like that one, but this one's okay, too. That one's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, I like that. I like the old-timey horns. All right, so the spare wheels. Now, I think on this one, I'm just going to go with the stock spare wheel because I kind of like the way it looks. So I think I'll just keep that as is. Plus, it has the... Um, side mirrors on it so I think I'll just save some money there now the uh, badges zoom in for the badges and this is another cool feature is that you can pick out which badge you want you can you know, do stock you can do one of the others I kind of like the one with the wings so I think I'm gonna go with wings <laughs> I don't know why so I mean it's just whichever one you want that's the cool thing about this so yeah let's do wings we'll do wings okay that looks fine next is lights and uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, mesh, but you also have chrome, or you can do none. But once again, I'm trying to make the Valor look a little bit different from the regular Roosevelt, so I think I'll go with mesh instead of chrome. But you may like chrome more, but you know that's why I'm doing the video, so you can you know see the different options available to you for the Roosevelt Valor. And uh, here's the uh, ornaments. There's only one ornament for the uh, Fender, and I like it. I think it looks kind of cool. So I added that, and spotlights, uh, do you want spotlight stands? Nah, I don't think so. I'll save my $700. <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> All right, so now the rear spare wheel. I don't like that. Honestly, I don't. A, there's already two spare wheels on the Valor, and B, it just looks, I don't like it. But you may like it, but I don't. And there's also primary, secondary colors you can do for the uh, Valor. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so here's the side-by-side -side comparison once again. Going in first person. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I think it looks really, really good. And, of course, here's the old one, which I bought two years ago with the same Valentine's Massacre update. I'll probably change the paint job on the Valor, but for now, I decided just to show you what a primary and secondary look on it. 
And I definitely like the red and black look that I went with here. And, uh, yeah, so I love them both, the Valar and the regular Roosevelt. Now, let us go over the stats really quick before we move on. They're basically the same. No difference there stat-wise. They're equal in speed, racing, acceleration, braking, and traction, so no difference there. And now let's move on to the masks because there are masks. Even though there's no technically new ones, there are masks that came two years ago with the St. Valentine's masks, and um, here they are. They're really cool. So if you want uh, one of these uh, rare or all these rare unique Valentine's masks, now is the time to get them because I don't know how long this update is going to last. I looked in the article that came out today at the Rockstar Newswire. By the way, that is linked below in the description section, and there's no timetable. They don't even mention that this is a time-limited update, and I think it is. I could be wrong about that, but I think it is. So those are the masks, and uh, there is a hairstyle. This also came with the St. Valentine's Massacre two years ago, and it's the only hairstyle that came with it, and it's for female characters. And it's a really cool one. It's very old school. The Flapper Bob. So if you want a different uh, hairstyle for your female characters, the Flapper Bob is definitely the way to go. So there it is, the Flapper Bob. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. But I don't think I'll go with it. Eh, I'm not really feeling it myself. But you... It may work good for your uh, female character. But before we move on to the clothing, there is an item that a lot of people are really, really going to want that uh, came out two years ago, also part of the St. Valentine's Massacre update, and it's back. <laughs> and I don't think there's any other items. So some of you probably are wondering, are there any other weapons that came with this update? Nope, there's only one. And that weapon is the Guzenberg, a.k.a. the Tommy Gun, for about $14,000. I love that gun. And I'm getting it for all my characters. I already have it for Janine, my primary character on Xbox One. I'm getting it right now for my secondary character, Cynthia, also on Xbox One. And I'll get it for my PlayStation 4 character, GB. And there's also weapon skins you can choose from as well. And be sure and get that extended clip so you can fire up to 60 rounds with the Guzenberg. And it's in the uh, machine gun uh, weapon wheel category. So that's where you can find the Guzenberg. In fact, I'll show you real quick. And uh, let's fire it. Let's test fire it against this innocent wall. Die, wall! <laughs> you die! That's stupid. I know. Anyways, just giving you an idea of what it sounds like. It's a really awesome gun. So there it is. The Guzenberg, a.k.a. the Tommy Gun, back in Grand Theft Auto Online, courtesy of the Be My Valentine update. And finally, we're going to check out the clothes. I know what you're saying. It's about time. So here we are. Going to show off all the clothing items, well, hopefully all the clothing items for the uh, female and male characters in Grand Theft Auto Online. Once again, the update available for current gen consoles, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. So here's the uh, standard outfits that are already custom made if you just want to go that way. These are really cool looking, these nice dresses. And uh, by the way, coming up on Friday, there's going to be a new adversary mode. Till death do us part. It's pretty interesting. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. It's a couples-based adversary mode, and it will be available coming up on Friday. So here's the more skimpier outfits, and we're going to go in and we're going to look at all the outfits in just a second. You know, clothing piece by clothing piece. You know, some of them are kind of classy. Some of them not so much. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> Okay, but there's also Valentine's t-shirts, and these came with the same Valentine's update as well two years ago. So if you just want a regular t-shirt for male and female characters, you can get these as well. These are kind of cool looking. So there's some t-shirts for the female characters. They're the over-shoulder tops for females. And now, let's go down to the uh, bustiers, because there's several clothing items. Suits, vests, dresses, bustiers, or bustiers, or however you pronounce that word. Uh, boxer shorts, stockings, and more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's no new tattoos. I checked, so no new tattoos. There's only one hairstyle, the flapper bob, only one weapon, the Guzenberg, a.k.a. the Tommy Gun, and uh, technically one, quote-unquote, new vehicle, the Roosevelt Valor. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, if I'm forgetting anything. I also mentioned the masks. We showed off the masks a moment ago. So I would definitely go get those masks if you liked them. And the dresses are really, really beautiful. I love these dresses. 
I think they're very classy. So if you have a female character, I think the dresses are going to be great. And what's interesting is, like, the majority of Grand Theft Auto Online's demographic is male, right? But there's still female gamers out there that play Grand Theft Auto Online. But the female characters in the game, I get the feeling the majority of the uh, people that are that have female characters are male. So um, I, I really wonder what their female characters are going to look like. <laughs> and these are old school flapper dresses that also came with the St. Valentine's Massacre update. Also available, once again, two years later, now on current gen. And these are really beautiful dresses. So, yes, you got the new dresses, you got the old dresses, and they all look awesome. So, it's really cool that we have more customization, more uh, wardrobe options for our female characters. Even if some of them are a little risque, this isn't so bad. It'll probably get worse in a minute. Oh, it depends on your definition of worse, right? <laughs> Some of you may be like, oh, it's about to get better, go Burns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I like these. I mean, yeah, they're you know, a little sexy, but not too over the top. Not bad. So I'll probably purchase all these for Cynthia. The reason why I'm buying them is because, um, well, if this is time limited, I want to be able to purchase these items and keep them. And if I don't do it now, I'll probably forget because I kind of neglect Cynthia. She's my secondary character on the Xbox One. I mostly play with Janine or uh, GB over on the PS4. I got like three Grand Theft Auto Online characters. So I don't want her to feel too neglected. So I'm making it up to her by buying her all this awesome, sexy lingerie. <laughs> Typical guy, right? <laughs> Plus, it's Valentine's week. So here's the stockings. These are... <laughs> <laughs> a little skimpy. <laughs> and yes, I'm buying them too. <laughs> I'm a guy. Okay, I can't help myself. But like I said, because I don't know. I mean, this could be available for a few weeks. It could be available till the end of the month. We don't know just yet. But I'm sure it it's possibly time limited. Okay, go away, Lester, you perv. I'm not sending you photos. Okay, but there's also some uh, new high heels that you can check out as well. They came for female characters in the Be My Valentine update. They're kind of cool. So if you want some new high heels for your female characters, there are some now available for you to uh, select and uh, try out. So there they go. The female outfits, the clothing, shoes, masks for male and female characters, by the way. And now we're going to show off the male outfits. It's time for the guys. Yeah, fellas. Yeah, boy. All right. So these are pretty cool. Very sweet looking formal outfits. Several uh, suits, several pants, the uh, new stuff, and the old stuff from St. Valentine's Massacre. I'm going to try and go over everything. If I miss something, my bad. It happens, right? I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. I don't want to go on forever, so I'm trying to get through it as quickly as I can. So uh, some of these outfits are okay. Some of them I, I don't really care too much for. There's also this uh, really cool looking uh, like uh, bow tie you can get for male characters. Give your character kind of like a Chippendale thing going on. <laughs> and that's over in the accessories section. And so here are the uh, new uh, suit jackets. They came with the Be My Valentine update. They look really good. I like the detail on the sports jackets. Oh, I like that. Not bad at all. So, yeah, once again, the Be My Valentine update is currently available for current gen Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And now we're going to show off the uh, old jackets. These are the ones that came with St. Valentine's Massacre, available once again. And, of course, the uh, shirts that you can purchase as well for your male characters. And, as I showed a moment ago, female characters as well can get these awesome shirts. So, it's kind of cool to have shirts, too. And now we're going to show off some uh, sexy shorts. So... <laughs> <laughs> They're so sexy. <laughs> so there you go. Male characters, if you want to just run around in like some short shorts, there you go. Your your wish has now been granted. <laughs> so there are all the uh, shorts for the uh, male characters, part of the Be My Valentine update. <laughs> I think that's as skimpy as it gets for male characters in the game. So, um, yeah. All right, so here's the new uh, suits. I guess I should change my uh, hoodie to a suit jacket. Oh, well. You know, <laughs> hindsight is twenty twenty. So these are really cool looking uh, suit pants, the new ones. And we'll go over the old one as well. And there's a few old ones. Not many, but a few. It's it's worth showing all the new stuff and the old stuff. And it, it definitely gives male and female characters a lot more customization in the game. So here we go. These are the old ones that were part of uh, St. Valentine's Massacre. Available once again. 
part of the Be My Valentine update. And here are the smart shoes. There's several, let's see, shoes that you can get, part of the Be My Valentine update as well. So it's nice to have some new dress shoes in the smart shoes category. And I'll also show off the old dress shoes too, because there's like three old ones from St. Valentine's Massacre that came out two years ago. And they're really cool looking as well. So here are those three. And finally, we're going to show off the fedora. And there's a whole bunch of new fedoras. And I absolutely love fedoras. They're awesome. And uh, they look really cool. I love the detail. The fabric is really good. Plus, we have the old ones back too. All the stuff. The new stuff. The old stuff. Be My Valentine has it all for you. Male and female characters. This update definitely did not disappoint. What's cool is it's already available in Grand Theft Auto Online, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC. If you already updated with the January 2016 update a couple weeks ago, it's available right now. So there you have it. The Be My Valentine update available right now for current gen consoles. You got the Roosevelt Valor. You got the old Roosevelt. You got the Gusenberg. You got the mask. You got all the clothing. It's all there. And... You better get it now because it may be gone in a few weeks or it may be there till the end of time. But if you really want any or all of these awesome items, you better get them ASAP. And don't forget, coming up Friday at the brand new Adversary Mode, Till Death to Us Part, coming to Grand Theft Auto Online.